Okay, so today's math lesson. We have been learning about looking at data on graphs. So it says, draw matching lines to compare. So compare is an important word. They've made it yellow. And it says complete the sentences and ring the word more or fewer. So here we have Maria, and Maria has some apples. And here we have Todd, and Todd has some apples. So a way, especially when you've got your data lined up like this, what I like teaching my class is to match these up. So let's match these up. These are going to be all the apples they have that are the same. And then here, Maria's got more apples than Todd. Okay, so I look down here and I say, oh, not Maria, sorry, Mara. Mara has blank more or fewer apples than Todd. Okay, first of all, Mara has more, so I'm going to circle more. And then I'm going to count how many extra ones Mara has. She has one, two, three, four. So Mara has four more apples than Todd. And I'm going to cross out the word fewer. Todd has, and I'm going to say he's got fewer. And here are the empty spaces here where his are fewer. And he has the same amount, one, two, three, four. Because if I had one here and one here and one here and one here, they'd be the same. So this is four here that are missing. So I'm going to say four fewer apples than Mara. So Mara has four more than Todd, and Todd has four fewer than Mara. Number two, each ant gets one crumb. How many more crumbs? How many more than? Okay, so I'm looking at how many more than. How many more crumbs are needed? Okay, and it says draw circles for the crumbs. Okay, so I'm going to match this ant got a crumb, this ant got a crumb, that ant got a crumb, and that ant got a crumb. This ant needs a crumb. This ant needs a crumb. This ant needs one. This ant needs one. This ant needs one. And so does this ant. So we need one, two, three, four, five, six more crumbs. Six more crumbs are needed. Number four, each bee gets one flower. How many extra flowers are there? So I'm finding out how many extra flowers. So it says ring the extra flowers. On this graph, it's like this one, they're labeled. All graphs have to have a label. So this says flowers, this says bees. So here's our flowers and here's our bees. We're gonna match up our flowers to our bees. I'm gonna cut the cake. And then one, two, three, four, five. There are five down belly hat, five extra flowers. And it says to ring the extra flowers. One, two, three, four, five. This is how you complete comparing. So this is, for parents, this is comparing data on a graph and looking at how many more than and how many less than. So when I'm comparing, what I always want to do is I want to match them up, match them up, match all the ones that are the same because that's equal. And then whatever the extra part is, that's going to be the how many more than or the how many fewer than, how many are missing. Here, six were missing, so I added them. And here, there were five extra ones. They did not ask me in the directions to draw more bees, so I didn't have to draw any more bees. All right, good job.